Hello everyone, and welcome to another video from The Tiny Menagerie. My name is Lauren, and recently I decided I wanted to get my Celestial Danios to spawn, but not following my usual method of hopping them between tanks. Instead, I wanted to get them to spawn in a mop so that I could transfer the eggs to the breeding tank. And the reason I'm doing this is because I already have very small fry in this tank, so I can't add the adult Celestials to it because it's likely they would just eat the fry that are already in there. And so what all this boils down to is I need a spawning mop that will fit in this small tank. I've decided to make my own so that I can make it to my own specifications. So to make your own spawning tub, you're going to need just a few things. You need two clear plastic tubs that will stack together. Food tubs are best because you know they've already been made from the highest grade of plastic possible, and they tend to be strong but thin-walled and perfectly clear, which helps with spotting the eggs later on. I'm using a couple of hummus tubs that I have, and I've already cleaned them out. You're going to need a method of poking holes in the tub. I like these little hole punches. They are readily available from craft stores, and they're made to cut through really tough card, so this thin bit of plastic isn't going to be a bother for them at all. You can also use standard hollow punches, which you sort of hammer out using a hammer, funnily enough, or you could use a Stanley knife, a craft knife, or even a hot skewer. Anything you have to hand, just so long as you can make holes in the plastic. You're also going to need some green yarn. Don't buy expensive wool or natural products, alpaca, anything like that, nothing so extravagant. Cheap acrylic is absolutely perfect because it's not going to degrade in your tank. You also don't technically have to use green, but I think simulating the colours that would occur in the wild will certainly help your fish feel more at ease and more willing to use the mop. So, how to make the spawning tub? Step one, make sure your two containers are completely clean and that they stack together, leaving a very small gap at the bottom. Don't worry if it isn't very big, it doesn't need to be because most fish eggs are less than two millimeters in diameter anyway. Now taking one pot, you need to make regular holes in the base of it. These need to be big enough for the eggs to fall through easily, but not so large that an adult fish can squeeze into the gap and eat any eggs and fry that might be in there. I'm using a hole punch because it gives you a nice smooth surface with no raised bits around the edges. If it did, then those would need to be filed down. You want the top to be smooth so that the eggs don't get trapped on it. Although it's not the end of the world if they do, it just means they're going to be an easier target for the adults. Once you've punched your holes, you need to make a mop for the top part of the tub. And to do this, all you need to do is wind wool around your hand around 10 times. Then tie it off with the same wool, leaving the long ends of the knot free. Then cut the side opposite to the knot to make the tail ends, which are going to be the part that the fish actually spawn on. And repeat this four times. Now you have your mops, you can tie them onto the tub, and you can do so just by poking the ends of the knots through the holes that you made earlier. Then you can tie them down. Depending on the size of the tub and the size of the fish that you're breeding will affect how much wool you need. You want the strands to be free-flowing so that the fish can get in between them while they're spawning, but not so loose that they can easily go down and eat the eggs at the bottom. Once you've filled your tub with enough wool, it can then be slipped into its base and placed in the tank with the fish that you're hoping to breed. If your tub is a little bit buoyant, then you can use a little stone in the center just to weight it down. And once it's in place, don't do anything with it, just leave it there. I'm sure the fish will be very frightened of it to begin with, but they will eventually get used to this strange new object they have. If you have a species whose eggs are very sticky, so like tetras or barbs, then you're going to need to remove the mop after spawning, otherwise the adults will be able to find them even when they're stuck in the wall. For species whose eggs aren't adhesive, so all of the danios, then you should be fine leaving the mop in situ for a few days. Then you can take it out and check it for eggs at your leisure. It will take a few days for your fish to get used to this strange thing that's appeared, but after a week you should start to see eggs, assuming your fish are in breeding condition. And from there you can transfer them onto wherever it is you plan on raising them. When you've finished with it, the tub can be rinsed in hot water to clean, left out to dry, and then stored away ready for next time. And considering it's not been made out of any biodegradable materials, it should last for several years. I hope you can see that making your own spawning tub really isn't difficult. It's certainly not worth the cost of buying them in an aquatics shop. Plus this way you get to make as many of them as you need in whatever size is appropriate to your setup. But I also hope you've enjoyed this little video and if you have, a like would be much appreciated. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Happy fish keeping everyone and I will see you soon. Bye bye!